um, in this example, we are going to look at how to control the traffic light using one timer. So the idea is the same. If you are asked to write a program to sound a siren, either at work or at school, you you use one the same time. You use the same time that is there, which um, you can call as system time. All you do is you are comparing and saying, if school starts at uh, 0700 hours, you sound a siren. If break time is at 900 hours, you sound the same siren. If break is going to end at zero, if break is going to end at zero nine fifteen, you sound the siren. But what are you doing? All you're doing is you you're using you compare, you check what's the time now, and then you say if the time is equal to this siren, if the time is equal to this siren. So this is the same idea we're going to use here. So what we are saying is, if the traffic lights, for example, starts from the set if this is set one and this is set two so when you start one side must start so if it's going to start from this green here that's when it starts so time is zero you consider that time is zero then time starts accumulating and then you say amber on set one red on set one this red will be on by the time these things are doing this this red will always be on at that time then this red will go off, and then this green will come on, amber will come on, this red will come on, and then you start again. So when you start from here and go through all these things up to here, use that as one time, as one time frame. Because this circle, is a, you, you think of it as a unit. So time will accumulate as a unit. And during that accumulation, you compare. You say from this time to this, this time, I'm going to switch on the green on set one. From this time to this time, I'm going to switch the amber on set one. And from this time up to the end of the cycle, I'm going to switch on this. So graphically, I can draw something like this. I can draw something like this. Let's say this is the maximum that the cycle can take. So what will happen is <clears throat> we'll have time accumulating going up at the end of the cycle it will go to zero and then it will start again and then it will go to zero this will continue for as long as there's power time will continue no one stops time then what we need to do is when the when the time starts now what we have is when, when you power up the PLC or the first time it starts the red on set two will be on obviously so that's the red on set two will be on at that time on set one the green will be on will come on for some time just after the green when the, when the green has finished its time amber will come on on set one. When amber is done, red will come on on set one. Okay. Then obviously this is um, the, the set two one. Red stays on for some time, just to make sure that there's a smooth transition. So it was red all the time, and when the red comes on on set one, you allow the red on set two to stay on for some time before you introduce the green on set two but remember this red on set one needs to continue also until the cycle is finished now so similarly the colors will continue for set two this is green for set two then amber for set two then red for set two This is red for set two. Then the red for set one stays on for a short while after this one. Then this cycle will come back. So it will come back to this green 
amber like that you call. So this is what you're going to implement using POC instructions, which are already inside here. So you just need to know which one, which instruction are you going to choose. But before you start choosing and all that, you, you need to know what are you going to do. You need the timer itself. So this is the timer. Okay. So you need the timer. The next thing that you need is the, uh, this logic here. The, this one says, if timer zero, then beat is off. Or if timer zero is not done, then time, then time zero must time. So when is the timer done? The timer is done if the preset value, this is the, this is the top up time. This is the amount of time that you are, are going to accumulate to finish the cycle. You put it there as a preset value. So if the preset value is not equal to the accumulation value, this done bit will be off. So that's what I'm saying. If it's off, then accumulate until the accumulation value is 230. When 230, when accumulation value is 230, then this done bit will come on. And then this won't be true anymore because here you're saying if it's off, then time. But when, when it's done, this will be on. Now, when this is on, you will lose the power here going to this timer. This timer will reset. It will go to zero. When it resets, this done bit will go off. And then here it will be off. It will start accumulating again. And this cycle is going to continue. So the instruction that you need to know, if it's this one, if the timer is off, and the timer itself. The timer itself, you need to give it a variable name. But by pre-standard, it's predefined. You just choose on this prologic. You just choose to say this is timer, four, timer zero or timer four. By using that time base, this is how we want it to count in 0 0.1 tenth. So that's uh, like a tenth of a second. Your preset value that's 230 for this example, but you can just you can choose any time that you want. The next instruction that you need is the limit test. So this is what is, is comparing limit test to say um, if the accumulation value is between 0 and 30, then switch green on set one. So the limit test is just an instruction that compares to say if the time is greater than zero but less than 30, then switch on that one. The limit test will be repeated. This is for amber. If, if, if the accumulation value, accumulated value is between 30 and 80, this is what we are testing, like uh, the accumulation value. If it's between 30 and 80, amber on set one. If it's above 80, but less than 120, the red comes on. But remember on set one, we want the red to stay on until at the end of the, the, the cycle. That's when we say, if it, here we are saying if it's greater than 120, then let it stay on. So it stays on by an O gate here. So it's, it's either the time is between 80 and 120. Um, I should have just put here up to 200. And 30, it will be the same. So from 80 to 230, red stays on. Because 230, that's when we finish at the end there. I shouldn't have put this greater than if I wanted to, but you know, sometimes you just add nice things so that you are more secure. But from a logic point of view, that's what you need. And then you repeat this for the other set. Then you're done. Uh, when we talk about this walk, don't walk, walk, we are just saying if this is off and this is off, then this must be on. So you just you just put a logic to say if this output is off. So to check if something is off, you put that instruction like this, cross it. If it's off and amber is off, then this can come on. Walk can come on. So this output will be on. Zero, two, zero, three. Uh, obviously, you don't want immediately when this is off and this is off. You don't want immediately to say walk. Some drivers might be passing there, so you can put a delay timer. You can put a timer there. The timer must accumulate and be done. Once the timer is done, this comes on. So you give it three seconds so that it can stop nicely. Once the car has stopped nicely, then this comes on. So you just introduce a timer here. In this logic that I have here, I did not put this timer. That's why I'm explaining it so that if you are going to copy exactly this, then you just have to put the timer. All right. So let's look. Let's see this in action. So you see here the time is more than that. The time is zero. Green is on. Above 30, amber comes on. Above 80, red comes on. After some time, this red stays on. Then it will go to green here. After some time, this amber comes on. Then this red must come on. And um, it's as simple as that. So... Amber 
and so on, then red will come on. Then this is when this is where I'm doing them. If the green is off and if amber is off, then if green is off, amber is off, then walk this side. If um, green is off, amber is off, walk on the other side and that's it. Um, yeah, as easy as that. Thank you.